Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we're eating the world's oldest egg in Taiwan. You know century egg? Century egg is egg? Oh, pitan. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sure. Pitan? Yeah, pitan. Today we're trying the century egg, which is also known as the thousand year old egg, which means whoever named this wasn't sorting the details. The century egg is made by preserving duck, chicken, or quail eggs in a mixture of clay, ash, salt, quick lime, and rice hulls for several weeks to several months. Do you think most people like this? I think so. Maybe some people don't like it. Why do you like it? Uh, it's so yummy. Today, a nice anonymous lady has prepared for me one halved century egg and a brick of tofu topped with sweet soy sauce and scallions. The woman who owns this restaurant was so impressed with my show and what we're trying to do that she said we could film in a restaurant under one condition that we don't show her face or the name of a restaurant or anything indicating where we shot it. <sighs> Super fan. What was once the white of the egg is now a translucent, kind of brownish color that you can see through. I would say almost amber. It reminds me of like if there was a mosquito caught in here, I would try to recreate some kind of dinosaur, a la Jurassic Park. The yolk is a half stratified green and half oozy, slimy uh, middle section. You've heard of green eggs and ham? Well, think of a joke that would go well with that and then laugh. The creation of the century egg was likely a method of preservation. But why in a time of such abundance and with modern preservation techniques are people still eating it? Nobody knows. Oh, it's because they like how it tastes. So, it tastes good, so. Let me get a piece of this translucent amber egg white that is not white. Hey guys, uh, there's a myth out there that these eggs are made by soaking them in horse urine because of the urine-like odor of ammonia that the eggs emit, uh, but they're not soaked in urine, they just smell like urine. So they're perfectly fine to eat. It definitely has a bit of an ammonia flavor, but it's not overwhelming. It tastes like a jello-y, hard-boiled egg that's super savory and, and extra salty. Grab a nice little chunk of the century egg, a nice chunk of the tofu, Oh, I'm probably doing this like a dumb person. How about that? Here we go, down the hatch. It turns out a lot of those shock-based reaction channels focused on eating something non-American then proceeding to retch and gag for your entertainment got it wrong when it came to the century egg. <coughs> Yo, it's good. It's just really powerful at first. You see, though the century egg can be eaten alone, it's meant to be paired, most often with kanji, a rice porridge, or tofu. It is with tofu. Usually eat with uh, uh, tofu and egg. The one tofu and one egg. The delicious. Eating the century egg alone is like eating a bouillon cube straight and wondering how those crazy Westerners do it, which I'm sure someone's tried. <laughs> The combination of the century egg with the tofu and even the scallions on top with the sweet soy sauce, it's pretty outstanding. I think I could eat this maybe even in real life and not on camera. Give it a shot. What do you got to lose, you know? I'm messy when I eat chicken wings and I'm no better with eating uh, chicken snake. The snake restaurants here entice would-be patrons with intimidating and even somewhat lifelike snakes in addition to a few real ones, which are not on the menu. Get some snake. Here's what it's gonna do for you. 